In this video, I want to give you an overview of the Kubernetes architecture. So if we talk about Kubernetes architecture, then uh, to start with, we have the different nodes. And the most important node in your Kubernetes cluster is what we call the control node. Uh, apart from the control node, we have multiple worker nodes. There's always more than one. Uh, just to keep it easy, uh, I'm, I'm drawing in just one of the worker nodes. Uh, so what do we need uh, from an architectural perspective on the controller node and the worker node? Well, to start with, uh, you need a container a runtime. Uh, so let's say that is uh, container D. Even if container D is not the only runtime that is available. But Kubernetes is all about containers, and core components in Kubernetes run as containers as well. So a runtime is what you need to start with. Uh, on top of that, you need uh, the kubelet. And the kubelet is going to be used on all of these nodes as well. The kubelet is a Kubernetes part that interfaces the container runtime. Part of Kubernetes that talks to the kubelet and makes sure that if you are going to run uh, a container, the scheduler will schedule it, will schedule it somewhere. Uh, there is the kube controller manager, let's call it C manager. The controller manager that is taking care of generic cluster operations. And of course, there is the Kubernetes database itself, which is uh, the etcd. And all of that is running on the controller node. Now, you are going to interface with Kubernetes. And uh, in order to interface with Kubernetes, uh, you will use a client. And typically, that client will be uh, the kubelet. And the kubelet is talking to the API server. So you use the kubelet to, uh, to run commands like kubectl run to run a pod. And when you run a pod, then the controller manager is going to be involved to make sure that it's directed the right way. The scheduler will get in contact with the kubelet to put it on one of the worker nodes. And at the same time, uh, your pod definition, as well as your pod status, is written to the etcd. Uh, so from the kubelet, you really get an arrow back to the etcd, uh, updating whatever is happening in your Kubernetes environment. Now, we are going to use Minikube in this course as an all-in-one solution, so you don't even see these different nodes. But in a typical Kubernetes cluster, you will have multiple controller nodes, multiple worker nodes to take care of your containers in the Kubernetes environment.